County deputy fired after a little girl was killed Thanksgiving weekend had a pristine record. The Way 31I team obtained the personnel file of Deputy David Crittenden. The sheriff fired him because he failed to call DHR when Jayla Sutton wandered from her home Thanksgiving morning. About 12 hours later, Jayla walked away again and was struck and killed on Highway 157. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. Way 31's Breck and Terry has been combing through the file all day to learn more. We know Deputy Crittenden worked here at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office for about four years, but in total, he has almost 30 years of law enforcement experience. We sifted through about 100 pages of documents on Crittenden. Most were his various law enforcement certifications throughout the years. Crittenden had no disciplinary actions against him while he worked at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office. But in 2015, a child ran in front of his patrol car and he hit the child, causing bruises and scrapes. According to the report, Crittenden was not at fault. On Thanksgiving, Crittenden responded to a call concerning a child who walked to a neighbor's house naked. That child was 12 year old Jayla Sutton. According to the sheriff, Crittenden never reported the incident to DHR, which is standard protocol. In this letter from the sheriff to Crittenden about his termination, it seems like Crittenden told the sheriff he told the dispatcher to notify DHR. But the dispatcher said that conversation didn't happen. About 12 hours later, Jayla Sutton, who was visually impaired and disabled, walked away from her home again and was hit and killed by a pickup truck. I spoke with Crittenden about this situation, but he told me he did not want to make a comment right now. He can appeal his termination, but it's unclear if he's going to do that. In Lawrence County, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. The Way 31 I team also learned no autopsy was performed on Jayla. We're working to find out why that step wasn't taken. And here's what else we're looking into. Investigators have never released the driver's name. That person did stop, but we don't know if charges will be filed. It's not clear if Crittenden will face charges in Jayla's death.